All right. Hey, my name is Dr. Shell, otherwise known as Dr. Test Prep, and I create pretty much free resources to help you be the very best that you can be on the PSAT, SAT, and other high stakes tests. Now, I have to share this post and I'm not going to call the person out, but I love it because it's honest, it's the truth, and it's what thousands of you are thinking right now. Just five days remaining. How can I improve my score from 450 to 700 plus in both verbal and quantitative module? Ah! All right. Well, you can't. Okay. I'm just like laying it out there. It is unrealistic if you honestly have a 450, but there are definitely strategies and techniques that if you choose to love and care about yourself and have a crummy week of studying, it will make a significant impact to your overall SAT score. I promise. So if I were you, this is what I would do. And let me just again say, you're not alone. Like if you look at the right side of the screen, this is the analytics from my YouTube channel. And these are the most searched topics in the past week or so. How to prepare for the SAT exam at home, how to study for the SAT in a week, um, how to cram study for the SAT. So you are not alone. And this video will absolutely help you raise your score. Okay. I have an amazing four pillars video. It's really only appropriate if you have a couple weeks or even like a couple months or more. So if this was the day or week before the test, this is how I would spend the next 25 hours of my life, like really focused. First, you have to go to Khan Academy. Khan Academy is the only authorized SAT, PSAT prep source, period. It is also 100% free. Thank you to a partnership between Sal Khan and College Board in 2015. What you would do is there's the digital SAT math portion and the S digital SAT reading portion. Now, before I go on, remember that for the reading and writing test, you're going to have module one, which will be a mixture of easy, medium, and hard questions. Based on how well you do with it, module two will be mostly easy, medium questions or medium and hard questions to really narrow down your score. Same for math, easy, medium, hard module one, and then easy, medium or medium, hard for module two. So when you go here, I'm going to do reading and writing first from both the reading and writing and the math section. If you don't have purple and oranges and it's just blank, you need to spend the next 45 minutes taking the course challenge. What that's going to do is that's going to inform the AI what strategies, techniques you're really good at and what areas do you need to really double down and improve in. Now, I don't have a lot of content yet for the reading and writing, so I'm going to spend most the rest of the video talking math. So this is what I mean by purple and oranges. Anything purple, I, this is like my pretend play account, I have demonstrated proficiency in. Anything orange are things that I haven't addressed yet or I need help with. So same thing that you did for ELA to take the course challenge, you're going to take the course challenge in math. Usually I tell you to go to Blue Book. You don't have time to go to Blue Book right now. So today, Saturday, March 2nd, this is how I would do it. Then I would spend the next 25 to 30 hours going back and forth. This is what you're going to be doing Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. On Wednesday, you're going to take a practice PSAT, I'm sorry, a practice digital SAT on the College Board Blue Book app. The link is in the description. That will give you even more information. That will take you about three hours. That's your Wednesday night. That will give you more information about what you need to study. And then Thursday and Friday, you can pinpoint that going back. Now, let me tell you about Khan Academy and the math. Khan Academy is absolutely amazing. However, their math videos are about three or more years old, which means they were made when you could not use a calculator on every math question. So not only when you study math and Khan, are you looking for the topics that are white or orange? You are also going to be using my free YouTube channel. So let's take a look here. This right here I have as orange. So I'm going to click it, Evaluating Statistical Claims. And this says Unit 3, Lesson 10. So on drtestprep.com, on my YouTube channel, you're going to type in 3.10. And so if you had extended time to study, a good student would click this lesson, read the lesson, watch the videos, do the practice. They would watch these videos. And then they would take this. In crunch time, you are just going to watch my two unit, less, unit three lesson 10 videos. 
The catch is that as you're watching them, if I have my Desmos calculator up, and this is a bad example because it's not on this video, but let's look at unit conversion. There are, of the 150 videos I made, less than 10 of them don't use the calculator. 140 of them use Desmos. So as I'm typing in how to do these problems, you need to have Desmos open and you need to type along with me. That's what learning is. I can watch a gazillion basketball or football games, but unless I hold a basketball or football in my hand, I'm not going to learn how to play. You watching me teach you Desmos and you not doing Desmos along with me is not going to help you, period. Summary. Congratulations. You will be okay. You might not get the 700 you were hoping for if you're just starting a week before the test. But what you're going to do is you're going to click the link in the description. You're going to go to Khan Academy. You're going to open up both the digital SAT and the SAT reading and take the course challenge if you haven't yet. If you already have all purples, oranges, then you can skip that part. That's fine. You're going to focus on anything that's orange. If it's math, you're going to go back and forth between Khan Academy and my site to learn how to use Desmos and practice in the Desmos calculator. If you have any questions, leave comments. I read them every day, sometimes multiple times a day. I'll respond back. And let me tell you, we got this together. Love and support each other. It's going to be okay. Worst thing is you take the test again and the world will continue spinning. Okay. Bye, guys. You got this. We got this. It's going to be fine. See ya.